This is a segment from the JustRPG.com podcast. If you enjoyed this, you can check out the full podcast link in the video description below. Enjoy! What are your rarest or most valuable games in your collection? Well, I have a lot of games now. Not a ton, but more than most people. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> So, I don't have too many really... I don't have any Holy Grails or anything like that. Maybe, like, one. But, uh... I'll, I'll go through my systems, I guess, and say what I have. Um, I have a lot of N64. Mm -hmm. So, my rarest N64 game is probably Barman Second Attack. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Most people have it. It's like $130 or so. Oh, wow. But, yeah, I never heard about it until I started collecting. I ended up getting a deal on it, so... I grabbed it. Besides that, for NCC4, I have Beast Wars Transmetals, which is a Blockbuster exclusive. It's like a $50 game, but it's hard to find. Oh, wow. Got a deal on that, too. Um, then I have most, you know, mid-range NCC4 games. I don't have uh, Sculptor's Cuts, $400 or so, or Worms, or oh, yeah, worms. Stunt Racer, or anything like mm -hmm. that. But, yeah, Bomberman's definitely my highest okay. one. Yeah, I don't have any any N64 games. Like, yeah. I had to trade in all my N64 games. Yeah, that's what games. I grew up with, so that's probably my favorite. I have, like, over half the library now, so. Yeah. I'm only missing a f those big ones and then a few mid-range and everything else, so like sports games, so. Getting there. Oh, oh boy. Um, for NES, I, I don't really have any, to be honest. I'm kind of new to NES. Mm -hmm. Sounds weird, but, uh. Yeah, I mean, I have some kind of unusual ones, like Stinger or Twin B, but it's not really rare. It's not expensive or anything. Same with Genesis, I don't really have much. Uh, for Super Nintendo, I have a couple. Not super rare, but I have uh, uh, some Super Famicom ones, actually. I have Ooh. Macross Scrambled Val Valkyrie, which is a pretty pricey Super Famicom game. It's a Robotech or Macross-based shoot-em-up. Um, I have Gundam Wing Endless Duel. It's kind of a weird one. Wait, which system is this? Uh, Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. They had a Gundam game? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Gundam Wing Endless Duel. It's a 2D tournament fighter. Ooh. It actually looks beautiful. One of the best looking games on the system, in my opinion. But yeah, that's a, that's a great game. And it's Super Famicom only. It's exclusive to Japan. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, for regular Super Nintendo, I mean, I have Final Fantasies, but that's about it. Nothing too fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so for PS2, again, nothing too fantastic, but some kind of unusual ones. Um, I have the first three dot hacks. I don't have the fourth one. That uh, one's rare. Oh, but, I know someone with all of them. Yeah, I, I got the first three. Um, How unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's on the list. That, that's probably the biggest PS2 one I'm going to get. Isn't Katamari really rare? No, I have both of them. They're they're pretty easy to get. Hmm. Um, other than that, I have like I have all the Dragon Ball games on PS2. So Budokai Tenkaichi Three was kind of hard to get. It's kind of rare. Ooh, do you have Odin Sphere? Yes. Isn't that one? Nah. Ah, come on. Eh, it's like a fifteen dollar, twenty dollar game Darn at the most. It. Another unusual one, I have the PS2 version of Rivet King. Uh -huh. It's a, you play Frolf, which is uh How do you spell frog that? Frog Golf. Oh, Frog. F-L-O-R-F. I don't know. I can't spell. <laughs> F-R? Frolf. Frolf. It's basically golf, yeah, but. Yeah, a frog. But you know that game at the boardwalk that you, you put the frog on the like, catapult and then you hit oh, it with a mallet? yeah. It's based on that, but it's a really goofy Basically, golf game. And, and that's rare? It's unusual. It's very rare on GameCube. Uh -huh. But I have the PS2 version. It's a little easier to find. But definitely a weird one. That's about it for PS2, though. I got a decent amount of games, but they're all... Well, I guess I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's kind of hard to find, too. Hmm. There's a goodwill pickup. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I got some unusual... Or some <laughs> hard to find GameCube, but overall, I don't have too many GameCube. I have Fire Emblem for GameCube. Fancy Star 1 and 2. I also have that one. That's my rare game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that one's pretty hard to find. There's a plus version of it, which mm -hmm. is even harder to find. Uh, I don't have that. There's, like, 
two extra dungeons or something like that, and that's the only difference. But it, you get like an extra forty dollars out of that, something uh-huh. like that. You, who knows? Maybe you have the plus version. I might. It's, it's very discreet where it says plus on it, so you might have it. Where does it say? I think what? it's on the box and the disc. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe okay. even if you bought a game stuff, they might have given you the plus disc, you know, back then. Who knows? Uh, other than that, I got Skies of Arcadia Legends mm-hmm. for GameCube, which is pretty hard to find now. Great RPG. Definitely one of my favorites of all time. I, I love airships. <laughs> I love pirates. You got both of them. <laughs> other than that, Twilight Princess um, for GameCube is a little hard to get. It was the end of, you know, one of the oh, last games. Oh, yeah. I have that, too. I didn't even think about that being, like, rare. I mean, it's not, like, it's like 50 bucks or so, but that's not, you know, that's like not too bad. It was, like, a limited release. Like, they only made 6,000 or something. Uh, I, I don't know the details of it, but it is harder to find. The, yeah. the Wii one is super easy. It's, like, $10. Yeah, it's a piece of garbage, too. Yeah, the, the GameCube one is hard to find. Yep. So I do have that. But other than I that, that's it for my GameCube. Yep. Yeah. PS2, I got nothing really. I don't even know what is considered rare on PS3. I don't know what I said. Or yeah, PS3. PS2. <laughs> yeah, I'm in PS3. Is Katamari rare? <laughs> I mean, it, it's got a cool cover art, but I don't think so. I don't know. I always assume, like, someone told me one of the Katamaris was a very rare one, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Katamari's my favorite. Well, there's two Katamaris on PS2. There's one on PS3. Demacia there's and Forever. Beautiful no. Katamari. Beautiful. We love, no, we love Katamari. Katamari Damacy for PS2. Katamari Forever for PS3. Mm-hmm. Beautiful Katamari for 360. Ah, uh, yeah. And then there's a PSP and a Vita one. Which are not hard to find either, so maybe it's the 361, but I don't think it's too expensive or anything. It might be hard to find, but yeah, not too expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, for Game Boy Advanced, mm-hmm. um, nothing. There's not too much that's hard to get in Game Boy Advance. We've had some, you know, crazy limited things, but uh, you have all the cases for your games. Oh, I made is... those cases. Those are DS cases. Oh. We print out the cover art. That was worth doing, but uh, oh, okay. Oh I yeah, because th- it was like all cardboard. Yep. Mm-hmm. But my rarest game is probably Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. It's not too bad. It's like a $30, $35 game. Um, I have like Metroid Fusion. But really, there's not too much that's super rare in Game Boy Advance. You have like Ninja 5 0, oh, which. Be silver. Are for, they? No, for Pokemon, you'd, they'd be Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire. Oh. But those aren't rare, they're just in demand. But okay. there's one game, Ninja 5.0, which is like close to 100 bucks. But I think that's the most expensive Game Boy Advance game. So, I mean, it's not too bad overall. Um, regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color. I mean, again, kind of the same deal. I have all the Zeldas for that. Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages. I have Link's Awakening DX. I got like R-Type DX. Is that the trading card game for Pokemon? Yep. That game was impossible. Piece of garbage. Uh, what's kind of rare is I have Pokemon Pinball with the battery cover not Ooh. broken, Ooh. which is pretty rare. <laughs> Most are broken, so I don't know how mine's managed. But We were all pretty violent with our Pokemon Pinball. Not uh, our faults. Um, Alright, for Wii, um, again, there's not too much that's super rare, but I have Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. That was also a Goodwill $5 pickup, which I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> Uh, I have Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 3 for Wii, which is not too bad, but a little hard to find. Then I have, like, Pandora's Tower. Um, I don't have Xenoblade, but I have Last Story. That's yeah. probably about it. That's that's at least hard to find. Mm-hmm. Oh, what about the 3DS, or the DS in general? Hmm, for DS, still kind of the same deal. Nothing's too expensive. There are some, like... Solar to Robo is expensive, mm. but I don't have that. Um, I have I have some decent games, but nothing too rare. Was Super Princess Peach for the DS or That's 3DS? the DS. Okay. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the DS. That was pretty rare for a while, and then like all of a sudden people started trading them in, and then oh. it wasn't so rare yeah, anymore. I don't, I don't think that one was too popular, so maybe there was some issue with that. But I mean, again, I have the Dragon Ball games, Attack of the Saiyans, it wasn't that cheap. I have all the Advance Wars. I have some Atlas games. World Ends With You. I have the Zelda. That one is rare. World Ends With You. They reprinted it recently, oh. I think. So, right, not anymore. 
Um, Come on, guys. <laughs> Pokemon Conquest is kind of one that a lot of people don't know about. It's like a tactics Pokemon game. But other than that, that's probably it. 3DS, same deal. It's still relatively... It's still, they're still making games. So yeah. there's really not too much I know of, at least, for rare games. But, you know, I, I have quite a few. Um, for PS1, I think my rarest game is Digimon World. That one's kind of hard to find these days. A lot of people have nostalgia for that. <laughs> but I haven't gotten too deep into PS1. I'm afraid to. It's expensive and there's a lot yes. of low times. <laughs> yeah. Um, for PSP, I think my rarest game is probably Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. That's That, 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 that can definitely get up there. I got that kind of with a lucky Craigslist pickup. So. Oh, nice. But other than that, I mean, I have like a sealed Joan of Arc. But otherwise, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, 360 Xbox I don't collect for. I picked up a system recently, so I have basically nothing. <laughs> um, Dreamcast 2, you don't have to buy games for Dreamcast, so I, ha I have the system, but you can just burn into this, so I don't really have any. Except the Fantasy Stars, that's about it. And Wii U, same deal, it's still out, so it's not too much that's rare. But yeah, I, I think that's it for me. Yep. <clears throat> well, I told you some of mine. Um, I guess my most valuable to me is Lost Odyssey. Cause, for, like, 360. for the 360. Because everyone wanted it on the PS3. Yes, PS3. At the time because it was only one disc. But it's like four discs. It was four discs, four discs yeah. on the 360. And everyone made fun of me. That's people, actually like, recently gone up in value because they added backwards compatibility for that game on the Xbox One. Very recently. Ah. So that game went from like eight dollars. I think it's up to like fifteen now. Ooh! But if you can find it, that's a deal. You yeah. Know? It's that price if you can find it. But so you can't find it, and I have it. So boo you. <laughs> <laughs> or anything else for you? Think again. I think I'm tapped out. I don't know. But yeah, I have for the GameCube. Um, that Zelda Twilight Princess, but they. They have the new one for the Wii U, and I'm pretty happy about that. I was going to start playing that Yeah, soon. I have that one as well. Um, I wonder if Sonic Shuffle is rare. <laughs> I have no Probably idea. Probably not. You should have seen my face when she said that. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cringy. Whenever I bring that up, it's very cringy. Um... I think I have Starfeet, but I'm not sure if that's... that's pretty easy to get. Yeah, yeah, I have that one. I have the Professor Layton games. I have no oh, interest yeah. in them. I, I have them too. I'm never going to play them. I, I got them at Goodwill, but... I have <laughs> I the have first them. Ace Attorney, but he's that's not rare. Cool. Is it? I, I, I don't know. I've, I've never looked into it. Yeah, I have that with the case, and I think the like instruction manual too. And my oh, friend was cool. just like... He was like, oh, we just got this one at GameStop, but... You can just, here, have it. And oh. Like, oh, okay, okay, goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, Contact's a little hard to find. I have that, but it's an Atlas game. Mm -hmm. A weird one. So, any rare game is going to be like Atlas or like... Yeah, the one thing I've learned from game collecting is if it says Atlas, you should get it. <laughs> <laughs> like Atlas those, games tend to go up. Those JRPGs. Exceed as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it for me. I All right. really do not have any rare games. I right. just get what I like. Let me move on to the next topic then. Okay. 